Guys, my Black Friday package is here from Penn Chalet. I'm Karina with Karina Loves to Plan and I've been waiting for this since Black Friday. Let's open it up. So when opening my package, I got this little, please accept this small token of our appreciation. And it's an ink sample. It's Dymine Ink Ved Red Edition Sub-Zero. I was just saying to Katie that I can't take any more samples because I have no room in my ink sample tray. <laughs> Go figure. And then this sticker. Don't be creeping on my nibs. Cute, 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 cute. Oh, all right, so what did I get on Black Friday? I got a pen. Yes, I know, I just posted a new pen day video like last week, um, but this one took a really long time to get to me. I ordered it on Black Friday and then it spent like a week in California like a week and a half almost two weeks in california and then it arrived just today december 15th so is that like almost three weeks that it took to get to me whereas the last pen took six days five days to get to me it was amazing uh but anyway yes it is a new pen brand i have never ordered a leonardo pen before much less a Memento Zero Grande 2.0. So let's open this up. Okay, so this feels very luxurious. I'm just looking at the box here. So it's a Leonardo Officina Italiana. Oh, I'm just looking at the box. Look at that. So that is the little cardboard box that came with it. And then I'm nervous. And then the international guarantee which is all in italian oh my god it is the memento zero grande 2.0 in angel skin and what else comes in this box what is this a bottle of black ink okay i hope it's not frozen um probably an ink i won't keep um but we will see. I've never tried a Leonardo ink before, but this is what came in the set and then that as well. But this, oh, sorry for the shaking. This is what I am excited about. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic and get everything out of the way. So this is the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 in angel skin. And this was for me a a pen that I never thought I would get because one of the price tag um but two well actually no really that was the only reason was the price tag it retails for 440 US dollars so why did I buy it then if it was way out of my price range well firstly I had enough referral credits from Penn Chalet, plus that was 15% off. So by the time I took that all into consideration, it was literally 75% off for this pen or almost 80% off for this pen. So I saved so much money buying this pen and I'm just looking at the beautiful body of the pen and the clip here now ooh, that is a nice springy clip and then you've got the rose gold it looks like rose gold detailing i just i'm in love with the color of the body and then let's do the cap check how many turns it takes so one one and a half one and a half turns to remove that and that reveals this beautiful 14K rose gold nib, and I got it in a fine because that was actually the very last pen left with Pen Chalet. And then you can see here this beautiful ink window because it is a piston filler. So, oh, come on. Yeah, so with the piston filler, if you're familiar at all with Twisby or anything like that, you basically twist the piston to suck in all of the ink so it doesn't come apart or anything like that. Beautiful, so it's got a huge ink capacity. On the box it even says it's 1.5 mils for an ink capacity. All right, so let's go ahead and measure this up against some other pens in my collection. 
So there's the Memento Zero Grande, and we're comparing it to the Twisby Diamond 580. And I'm going to compare it to the Le Bon 325. It looks like it's almost the same length, actually. You can tell I'm going for bigger pens here. I am liking bigger pens more and more. So compare it to another big pen here. We've got the Narwhal Nautilus in Grand Rhapsody. I almost feel like, yeah, pretty similar in size. And then another big pen here. We've got the Bennu Euphoria. Pro the Bennu is probably still my biggest pen. And then compare it to one of a, I'll remove these two. But compare it to one that you guys might be a little bit more familiar with. How about a Sailor Pro Gear Slim? Yes, definitely much smaller than a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. And then, Somebody asked me about a Pilot Kakuno, definitely smaller. The Pilot Kakuno is definitely smaller. So let's uncap these. So there are all of the pens uncapped. And really it is comparable to the Nautilus as well as the Twisby Diamond 580, but the nib is certainly bigger. I mean, the grip section of the Twisby Diamond 580 seems a little bit longer but you can tell the grip section on the Memento Zero Grande 2.0, that is a mouthful, is girthier, so thicker in the grip section, which I like. I am finding that I am liking bigger pens and wider, thicker pens. So taking some measurements, this pen weighs 30 grams capped, and then uncapped, it weighs 20 grams, which actually feels pretty good in the hand. I've got Lucy here who wants to jump onto my lap. Um, can you post it? You absolutely can post it, but it feels a little bit back heavy for me. I think for some people they might find it balanced, but you certainly can post it. Look at a, that's a massive pen. That is a massive pen. But what I really do like is how it's only one and a half turns to uncap and cap, and it's got a beautiful, uh, ink window. What I like about this one is that with the ink window, you don't see it when the pen is closed. And that was actually some feedback that um, the company took when they had their original pens. So before, when they would cap it, you'd be able to see the wing ink window like that. But now they've actually amended the design so that it's like this. So in the hand, now those threads, are they sharp at all? Absolutely not and the grip section is wide enough for my fingers. And also there is a bit of a step down here from the body to the grip section, but it isn't sharp at all. And it actually isn't at all obtrusive. Really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and ink this up. So the color I've decided to put in here is Colorverse Brunch Date, which was most recently sent to me by Leanne Likes. And the reason that I think the two match is because it's not the angel skin isn't necessarily a very obvious pink. It looks more like a dusty brown type of pink. So I feel like these two would match really, really well. And normally, I say normally, I don't match my inks. I normally like to try and test it with Sukio, but I'm going to do something different today. So I'm gonna ink this up. Woo, putting it right in there without spilling any and I'm sure I'm already getting some in my there we go you can see it going in I'm gonna I'm not gonna fill it completely all the way because I don't it's a huge ink capacity 1.5 mils so and then I'm gonna wipe that with this cloth which is like a beautiful collage of all of the inks that I've tried. But I just wanna highlight again the 14 karat rose gold nib. This pen, you could only choose to have it with that 14K rose gold nib. All the other choices for the Memento Zero Grande 2.0, you could have a steel nib or you could have a 14 karat nib. Uh, this particular choice though only came with the 14 karat rose gold nib. So I'm going to get my a6 Hobonichi notebook here. Okay, so going into my A6 Hobonichi notebook.
first impressions of the nib, there is definitely a bit of feedback here. It's not glassy smooth, but there is a bit of balance to this nib. There is a, like that flex comes very, very easily. And then it's not advertised at all as a flex nib. Now, I don't know if it's the pen itself that is dry or maybe the ink that's a little bit dry. Let me try something here. Now I've never had, oh, uh-oh. I think when I put some on the brass sham, there was a little bit of blue ink in there from last time, uh-oh. But that's gone now. How do I spell jumps? Silver, the lazy dog. In terms of smoothness, I have to say, and I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I feel like my Yovo steel nib is smoother. This definitely has more feedback than that, but this one is softer in terms of being able to push for that line variation. I was really, really nervous about this pen because it was definitely in a price point that I was not wanting to go to. Um, and this would be my very first Leonardo Memento Zero Grande pen. Now reverse writing, not really, but actually smooth, strange. Uh, and then fast writing does keep up. But I wonder if it's the ink choice that makes it feel a little bit dry. Maybe it could be the ink choice. I'm not exactly sure. Hmm. So first impressions of the Leonardo Officina Italiano Memento Zero Grande 2.0 in angel skin with a fine 14k rose gold nib. It is a beautiful pen and I love the details. I do love that it is a piston filler and that ink capacity is amazing, but I'm a little underwhelmed. I'm a little underwhelmed at the rose gold nib while it is nice and bouncy. It's not smooth like a gold nib that I'm normally used to. I actually find that some of the steel nibs or the Yolo nibs are smoother than this. It does have that bounce to it. Um, maybe it's something that I need to get used to, or are all Leonardo nibs like that? I don't know. But to be honest, while it is a beautiful pen, I'm a little, unfortunately, underwhelmed. And I hate saying that because this was such an expensive pen. And this is kind of what happens when you're buying online and you can't try it in person. So I don't know, I might sleep on it and see how I feel. What is your experience with Leonardo pens? Are they amazing? Do you love them? Do they write perfectly out of the box? Maybe I just have really high expectations of this. Or for me personally, it's not smooth to the way I like it. I don't know, thinking about it, we will see. I hate saying that because it is such a beautiful pen, but I would rather be honest with you guys than not so I've thought a little bit more about this pen and I will give it a chance. Well, my first impressions aren't, you know, bam. Oh my God. You know, I, I still want to give this pen a chance. I think we'll see how it feels. Do you ever have that where you're like, I know it's not a 10 right off the bat, but maybe I'll sleep on it and we'll see. I don't know. I will probably try and ink this up maybe for January and see how I feel at the end of the month. If at the end of the month I'm still underwhelmed by this pen, then I may sell it. Who knows? All right, but that is it for me. I, I <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. This is normally with pens. I'm just so, so excited. And this one wasn't the BAM factor that I was expecting, but I will give it a chance. I won't make my first impression the only impression. So we'll go from there. All right, 
right guys so it is a few days after i filmed the initial unboxing of this pen and i take back what i said this is not an underwhelming pen i feel like my initial impressions of this pen were kind of influenced be, by this pen because I opened this pen literally hours before I unboxed this pen. So I feel like it was a little bit biased, but after a few days of using this pen with Colorverse Brunch Date and really getting to know the pen, I love it. I absolutely love it. It feels really great in the hand. Oh, shaking the camera. It feels really great in the hand and it is such a beautiful resin. And I really love the fact that it is a piston fill. And look at that ink window. Like it's so great that that ink window, you can see it when it is uncapped, but when it is capped, it's hidden. So it's just this one long piece of resin. It's not interrupted by an ink window. So I take back what my initial first impressions were because I have been writing with it for a few days now and I absolutely love it. At first I thought it was dry and I thought at first it was the ink, but now the two together are fantastic. I've written a couple of entries in my Hobonichi Cousin and oh, that's not the page, but like it just, it wrote beautifully and I am absolutely in love with it. So first impressions aren't always correct is the lesson here. And I do love this Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 2.0 in angel skin. And I mean, look at that beautiful, beautiful nib. Absolutely love it. All right. But now that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me. Just the lesson here is first impressions are not everything. So let me know what you guys think of this pen or any Leonardo pen that you have purchased in the past. This is my first Leonardo and I'm so happy with it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.